A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Think how difficult seeking knowledges were. I remember when we were first coming into tariqah, they were describing that Sultanul Awliya, Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani Ghatta Sallallahu Siru was speaking in London. And the jama would go and make recordings and find companies that would duplicate recordings and they would come back with a shoebox of cassettes. And everybody would sit around for put the cassette in and like you know amazed to hear Mawlana Shaykh's holy voice. and giving us talks and sobats and in a matter of 25-30 years the world changed. We're now at your phone, my children can access sobats, lectures, talks all coming live into your living room with the tajalli of the live. It's one thing to have the blessings from an audio cassette but now imagine Allah is opening actually live that this, this knowledge, these associations are coming right into the living rooms of people. So it's a big ni'mat because of the difficulties that are coming. Allah wants that ni'mah to be available. So means that these technologies and these understandings that they teach are for us to reach to an understanding, reach how shaitan is grabbing the ears, how shaitan is locking the ears and propagating towards his direction. They're teaching the knowledges so that we understand how shaitan is operating. There is no environment in which shaitan is not there. It's not teaching it so that you're going to isolate yourself and hide in a forest, but to understand shaitan's game. How is shaitan playing this game? This is a, is a football game, soccer game. If you don't understand your opponent you already lost the game. When you understand how he's using technology, how he's going after the ears, how he's going after the eyes, how he's going after the hearts of insan. That's why we said to understand these realities, sometimes sit back and just watch the satanic kingdom. Means you'll see through the devils what kind of music they propagate and how it attracted the children. They're fighting all for your ears with every device they try to put, with every music they come out with, with everything. So the winning team from Ar Rahman has to come after your ears even stronger. <clears throat> That's why that Wahhabi group is actually Hizb shaitan They're not for Hizb Rahman, they use their Islam as a means in which to deviate men from the path of Allah They establish a masjid not for Allah but for coming against Allah and His Rasul that's what Surah Munafiqeen describes. Outside opponent you already know, he don't believe you, you understand who he is when he doesn't believe. The most dangerous opponent is the one who you thought he believed and his belief is against Sayyidina Muhammad and anything he does is against Sayyidina Muhammad and for Ahlul Islam and Ahlul Iman Sayyidina Muhammad came and taught us this Dajali people whatever they say is paradise know it's Jahannam. So means all of these Realities for us, these only Allah come into our life to begin to teach and perfect the aqeedah and the belief. They give these knowledges is watch out for that opponent. 
Watch out on how he's using his energy, using the information, using everything to propagate and to connect to your eyes and to your ears. If he grabs your ears and grabs your eyes they're entering into your heart. And only thing that we accept is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad If somebody is devoid of muhabbat and love they're devoid of faith. There's no Ahlul Iman if they don't have muhabbat in their heart. Oh I saw one on Facebook now they're talking in an impolite way about Sayyidina Mahdi Salam. Even they make a reference that not respectful. So then these turuqs come to teach, if you sense a disrespect you're correct, stay away. It's a sign people cannot hide who they really are. When they're disrespectful to that reality it's a sign from Allah stay away. Whatever you think they're about to teach you is going to be dangerous. And that's why awliya come into our life that the knowledge of it is not the question because everyone's propagating the hadith and the teachings. The vehicle in which it comes to you is the most important. If I put something beautific, holy zamzam, the most purest water but the glass is poisonous. If you taste from it thinking, oh it's, it's all the same, no, 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 as soon as you put your lips it already the poison has come into the heart and that's the danger. That's why when they teach with muhabbat then the Ahl al muhabbat are watching. So my shaykh he teaches differently. Everything with them is love, everything with them is kindness, everything is with them is gentleness because their glass is to be clean. There's to be no contamination on the glass. So that same hadith in that clean glass it rejuvenates the heart, revitalates the heart, it comes in clean, the contaminants minimalized and they feel alive from that understanding. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. If they don't have a heart to understand, they don't understand what Sayyidina Muhammad is sending. Imagine if you bring one person to Islam, more weight than all the jewels of this earth will be given to that person who brought them to Islam. These are the big time treasure hunters of Sayyidina Muhammad These big treasure hunters whom have been trained in a specific da'wah, a specific light, a specific reality from Sayyidina Muhammad go out amongst Ummatul Dawah. Everything, every single person is under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad Shafati Qubra. Every nation is responsible to bring their people to the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad because of each Prophet's imperfection. Will come and say, I cannot intercede, I pushed somebody and he died. I cannot intercede because they took me as a god. Every Prophet Allah gave them a mushkilat and something wrong in their contract so that they would seek and need 
the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad So means every nation is under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad So imagine da'wah, the ummah of da'wah, the nation that it is our responsibility to reach them. You reach by how? Talking about Jahannam? And scare them? They're already scared of you. You talk by love. That's why they're intolerant. These scholars they're like intolerant, why these people talk like this? Why they talk like energy? Why they talk? Because they've been trained by Prophet They've been trained by awliyaullah to take a common denominator. He's saying one thing, you're saying another thing and you want to argue about these words? Or come to where there's a common understanding and that's how strong their da'wah is. When they, they don't need to talk about salah, they talk about the energy, the reality of light, the reality of what Allah wanted of light. You don't have to tell people about the importance of wudu, talk to them about bad energy and how it's all over you. And the angelic power within water that will wash away that negative energy. And the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad even teaching that dust takes out fire, clean soil like the sand of the beach, not the mud in the backyard the no-minded people say, it's the clean sand of the desert and the beach because that silicone has a secret in it. That sand as soon as it touches it take away and extinguishes fire. All these realities that Sayyidina Muhammad gave and, and gives that understanding to the hearts of these da'is who they specialize in Ummat al-Dawah that they go out treasure hunting. One by one the one who gets one jewel and its weight is more than the whole world. Imagine when they collect hundreds of them or even thousands of them through the internet. Our leader and master Sultan al-Awliya had hundreds of thousands of students. There's not a, a city on this earth that doesn't have a Naqshbandi center. That's from who? That's from Shaykh Nazim. Anyone who looked at him he had a secret from Sifatul Rahman that he would describe that they just look into me, I plant a light into their heart, they'll go back and 40 people will be following them. Anyone travelled around the world, you'll go into a village, there's Naqshbandis there and their light is khususan, is a very specific soft loving character. And all with beards, we went all over South America, we went all over France, all over Spain, with big beards, all Muhammadan making salawats <laughs> and they don't even know any Arabic and their lahjah, their, their thing was you know ajeeb. And all their villagers are all sitting by them, one they say, Mulay Muhammadun wa Shulullah And they were loving it and people were following. This is the only secret that is astonishing, 40 people, 50 people following them. Really literally they were farmers and villagers and they were making salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad and big beards all with turbans and everything. This is an immense miracle of how Allah spread that love and the people would dare to say anything against these ulama, what type of jewels they have in the millions and billions in its weight of how many souls they brought back to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And people are comparing with somebody who's doing da'wah in his back home and 190 million people are Muslim, who cares? And you got 10 of those Muslims with you, they're already Muslim. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think it's a big <laughs> accomplishment? No, the accomplishment perfect your character, get your akhlaq, get your game on and hit the streets. Go out and find the one who's not Muslim and see if you are equipped enough to bring them. Not sit amongst 20 Muslim people and say, okay I'm going to teach you, you can teach me, we know each other. The real accomplishment they've perfected their character, they had to be loving, they understood. As soon as they go out people are not going to accept them with a harsh character. Then they would compete, then they understood, oh I, I, I have to offer these people something strong, that's why the technology 
these children want to dance, these children want to hear music, these children want to move, they want all of these things that shaitan is offering them. And the offer comes from Sayyidina Muhammad then teach them the naat, teach them the salawat, make it rhythmic and move them towards Allah And let the rhythm of the salawats, let the rhythm of the naat sharif move their heart and say, substitute the bad and here's the good. And this is how Islam was sent to the entire subcontinent. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the soul and the Divine's most powerful guiding light, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and hidden realities of the soul. Available worldwide at Amazon.com This is how Islam was sent to the entire subcontinent. They forgot even how they came into Islam and now they want to make comments against doing that. Didn't all those awliya come with qawalis and teach them and meet all the idolaters and idol worshippers and provided for them something beautific, gave them their langar and food and gave them all the zawiyas and gave them all the beautific sounds and they came in hundreds of thousands in da'wah. What happened to the da'wah machines? What happened to the ulama of Hind in this region that were da'wah machines? Now they just sit amongst the same 10 people and recite the same hadith for 30 years to each other. Now so then this da'wah is different. So people who tuning in and don't understand they're using every technology to go after the hearts, minds, eyes, ears of people and bring them to the correct understanding of love, love for Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad love for all the Prophets of Allah and to have a good character for the arrival of these heavenly souls that are coming onto earth, to have the best of character, loving character, good examples of brotherhood. They cover the faults of each other, they don't expose each other. They have a loving character and a kindness with each other. This is what Allah wants, this is what these apps are, this is what these associations are, this is what these da'wah is. When you join in and you support, when you join in and you participate, when you join in and you communicate, you're a part of that treasure machine. That this da'wah is moving, bringing in hundreds of people, bring in thousands of people, 10, 20,000 users on an app. How many people reaching through these videos? How many people reaching through all these things? Why? So that Sayyidina Muhammad will look at us. Huzur halana wa ishfanana and Prophet said, if you want me to look at you, do something. Get up and off your dead bed sitting on your money and it's not going anywhere but it's going to burn you on a day in which Allah ask you. You sat on it and you did nothing with it, it's going to burn you. So Prophet asking, get up, get up and do something. Don't tell me you love me, do something for your love. What the, what's this talk of love and you do nothing? You talk with your children, you say, go and you show your love for Allah and pray, say, I don't want to pray. So, so you think this is love? You don't want to pray? No. Fast, so I don't think I want to fast. So you think this is love when you don't fast? You don't? Okay, yes. As of tomorrow you have no inheritance from me but I love you. You don't see a dollar from me, nothing. Anything I have in this life will be cut off from you but I love you. Oh, how angry you think they're going to get that, they hear that. I love you but you get nothing from me. So how you can approach Allah like that? I love you, Ya Rabbi, I do, love you very much but I'm not going to do anything. 
everything we understand through our own lives. So that means be active in our lives, participate, make this life of ours to count, make whatever we have to count. This type of pandemic you think is ending? This hadith of Akhir Zaman, it's the red plague, white plague. The red plague came and began the big wars and these wars have not ended. It just began. The white wars are the plagues and pandemics. One after another they'll begin to come onto the earth. And the only security insan has is that they're good with Allah and good with Sayyidina Muhammad and that their dawah is strong. Ya Rabbi if you need me and I can be of service, keep me to be healthy. And if I'm not needed and I'm of no service then it's better I leave this earth. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of the time that we're in. Those whom reflect and understood they should have a very strong spiritual awakening, something's coming. Are you prepared for what's coming? We pray that Allah give us an understanding, a heart that filled with love and compassion and that the nazar and the gaze of Sayyidina Muhammad to be upon us, that his nazar give us a himma and a strength to move through all obstacles, all fear, every type of deceit and deception of deceit inshaAllah with the support of the holy companions Ahlul Bayt and Nabi and the awliya of Sayyidina Muhammad fi samahi wa fil ard bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.